What is up you guys? So this is a video that I've been wanting to do for a very very long time. I recently got into this new YouTube show called Hot Ones. So I'm sure some of you have heard of it, especially those who are like active on watching YouTube videos. And if you don't know what Hot Ones is, it's a show on the channel First We Feast, which is owned by Complex. To summarize it all, no one says it better than Sean Evans, the host who is an awesome, awesome host. It's, it's the, the show, show with hot, hot questions, questions and even, even hotter wings. wings. So that's their tagline. Basically, they have a guest either for a rapper, Hollywood personality, social media personality, YouTuber, you name it and they're faced with 10 hot wings and each hot wings corresponds to a question so you eat a hot wing and then you answer a question you start out easy you have easy questions but then you get to the fourth and fifth level it starts to get hotter and hotter questions get harder and harder or like deeper and deeper their mouth is on fire and everything's sweaty and their nose is dripping so they have no other choice but to answer the question or tap out yeah so i've been obsessed with this show it's really entertaining i know it just sounds like okay they're eating hot wings whatever but the reactions that you get from the people is amazing and yeah this is really fascinating really entertaining and awesome show so after this video go go check out their channel first we feast hot ones it's a really great show anyways as you can tell i love that show not only because of the talks that they have the questions that are answered and all that but the wings always intrigued me before hot ones i was always the guy who for hot sauce i just wanted a little bit of heat but i still wanted to be able to taste the food that was my like mantra like i didn't want the food to hurt me <laughs> when I'm eating it because I'm it's food it's not supposed to but then every time I watch the show I see their reactions and people getting through it like it seemed so easy for some of them and then there are other people who cried like a little bitch like DJ Khaled <laughs> and that's how intense the show was yeah ever since then I've always wanted to try what they were doing I've always tried wanted to see how well I would do on the show if I were ever on the show not that I'm interesting enough to be on the show but you know they just to be able to try the hot sauce and see how Far I could take it. So any chance I could, I would get extra hot sauce on my pizza, on my hot dogs, all that stuff. All the hot sauce here at home, I've tried them all, I've gone through them all, nothing. I've even tried the spicy ramen challenge. Yeah, I tried the times two one. It's insane on its own. It was hard. It, it was, I'll give it maybe a good eight out of 10. Every, anytime I'd be at a wing place and I've gone through it all, I still wasn't able to try what they were having because it's a whole different thing. Different lineup of sauces, different way of cooking it, all that. And I've always been fascinated. I've been obsessed with it ever since I started watching it. I'm stuck with the question. I wonder how well I would do if I'm faced with the infamous last dab sauce. Then a Christmas miracle happened. Oh, I love Paolo and Mitchell and the Enriquez. I love you all. He got Andrew the last dab. That he didn't get us one sauce. If the fact that he got me a sauce from Hot Ones already blew my mind. But we have the hottest sauce. I can finally, I can finally answer the question: Am I good enough for the Hot Ones challenge? And it, as you can tell, I'm like ecstatic just talking about it and it was amazing. It was a great, great gift. One of the best gifts I've ever received. Thank you again to the Enrique family, especially Paolo for coming through. Paolo and Mitchell for coming through. Going back to the challenge. So it finally came the day I was able to try the Hot Ones challenge. The problem that we faced was we only had four of the Hot One sauces. So what we did was we, we ran around the house. We got any hot sauce that we could get. I referenced each hot sauce that we had through the season and we were able to come up with our own lineup for our Hot Ones Challenge Chicken Nugget Edition. The problem with grabbing sauces from the house is if it was on the show, it would be easy because they have the Scoville scales on the show. But then we had other sauces like our Pablo sauce, which is a Filipino made sauce. We came across it at a bakery of all places. So we got that. We had a Korean sauce, which was from my girlfriend, Lynette. Shout out to Lynette Pinon because if I don't shout her out this time, she's gonna kill me for all the time, other times that I've made videos and she's given me something in relation to that video and I don't shout her out. Here's finally your shout out. Thank you for the hot sauce from Korea. And we also had Frank's extra hot sauce and we didn't have a scale. I tried Googling it, nothing really came out that was positive to see what, what Scoville unit it would be. By all means, I'm not trying to rip off hot ones at all. This is purely a fan made video. Of course, I want you guys to check out Hot Ones, First We Feast, their channel. I'll link their stuff down below to give them proper credit because what we did was like amateur hour, definitely amateur hour, less than amateur hour. And what they do is a whole different experience. So with all that said, without further ado, I'm excited to present to you guys our Hot Ones Nugget Challenge. Enjoy. It's starting. First one is Tabasco. Well, it's supposed to be Sriracha, but we have the Tabasco Sriracha version. Sriracha. 
Next is Tapatio. This was always second on first season. Nope, actually, I could be wrong. Second bite. Dirty decks. Dirty decks. No, I tried to last dab. <laughs> you get a hard deck. Let's see how long it takes for me to drink water. This one's gonna be tricky. So that one's a weird one because we don't know the Scoville unit and it's a Filipino brand. But it's habanero though. Yeah, so it's habanero. So we put it right on the fourth. So we might either screw up right away or we might be on the right time. Ew! Ew! Hot sauce. A lot. This is all your hot sauce. We only got the only new ones here is one, two, three, four. I had a dab of the habanero one. <laughs> uh oh, it's hot. Okay. Well, it's not painful. It's, it's just there. But what if you you try that one? Okay, so I'm gonna give a just a normal one. Is that normal? Oh god! Oh god! That was good. You're good. Right? <laughs> Pop was his, 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 Woo! Uh, Hold on. I don't think so. Oh, it, it builds. It builds, right? It hits you. What are you trying? What are you trying? <laughs> Give him the last dab. Okay. <laughs> oh crap, I forgot you don't like it. <laughs> I'm telling on you. Lola. Mom. Oh, it's hot. The bubble is getting me. It's not like bad. I'm not crying or anything. It's just, it's just hot. Right? I'm not crying. Or anything. Yeah, it's a, it's a good heat. This is a hot ones, third season, original, I think. Yeah, third season, fourth, fourth hot sauce. Is it? I think it's our fifth right now. It's our fifth right now called the Secret Art Bark Habanero Hot Sauce. I haven't even started yet. I don't like it. Oh. I feel like I like it. It feels good. Secret Art Bark is not my favorite. I don't like chili style. So here's the hot ones one. That's what I'm most excited about because it says it's the one that tastes the best. And perfect heat. So cool. Bobby, you want some? I'll give you a last dab. Where's the dirty dicks? It's sweet and fiery. Really good. Where's the dirty dicks coming? It's not that spicy. Now I'm on to the one with the favorite name. Dirty dicks. Tropical twist. Hot pepper sauce with tropical twist. Okay, here we go. Oh, I'm actually sweating. Dirty Dicks is close to hot ones, but I think I like hot ones better. Biased. So far, so good. We're on our eighth one already. Frank's Red Hot, extra hot. It says it's hot, but I don't know if I believe it or not. This Korean one, Lynette bought, our, bought for us. Shout out to Lynette from Korea. And all she asked was, do you have really, really hot sauce? And they gave her this one, so. <laughs> Look at it. Turning Riverdale. Okay, so we're moving it down. Disappointing you, Red Hot. Right. This one I'm worried. 
All right, so this next one, I don't know what the brand is, but my girlfriend, Lynette, bought it from Korea. Shout out to Lynette. And she asked for the hottest sauce that they had, and they gave her this. So I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. That's not hot. This one's not hot at all. That's last. Actually, that should be discontinued. I mean, like, take it out. Korean? Mm hmm. I thought you said it was horrible. That's what she said. Or sh maybe she didn't know. She just asked for hot sauce. Oh, this is creeps up. Uh, I'm about to try it by itself. Just to give it the benefit of a doubt. Nope. Uh -uh. Damn it. I think we're, we're jumping like 0 to 100. That's the last dab. I want to do the last dab with everyone else. So I'm done with all my nuggets. I know where to get Mega Death Song. Where? Uh, there's a place in Monkey's Mouth or something like a place near We need it. Teacher's Village. I'm gonna wait for everyone to do their shenanigans and then we'll do the last dab together. With Bubby. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a lot on my last dab, more than just dab. Just to feel like the fullness of it. Alright. So as Sean Evans says, it's tradition to put a dab on the last wing slash nugget. You don't have to, you don't want to. But I'm gonna put more than a dab. Oh my god, why is it so full? That's weird. Where's the dab at? Oh my god. Wait, don't don't do it. No, I'm just gonna do it here. There it is. It's coming out. Hold on. I'll be back. Oh, there it is. That's a usual dab, right? Oh my god, it's huge. But they lather it, so I might as well. This is what I'm left with. <laughs> it's not attractive, but I feel like if that would be the amount if they lathered it, flush a little dab, maybe more. It smells like chili. Like, I mean, like pork chili ish. Kind of like the art mark. I don't know how strong this is gonna be. Andrew's turn to put his day up. Oh, oh. not bad. I have school tomorrow. So that's Adrian's diplet. Hey, hey. guys, day up. I feel like I want to put my like, like if I were to wrap a chicken nugget, would that be enough? We're about to start. I mushed mine into. So it would have wrapped the nugget, I guess. Andrews was Cheers. there. I already tried it. I'm gonna take it. We're about to do the last day. Touch tips. Touch tips. Oh, 
Oh, oh no. Not just us. No water yet, though. Good. Roll card somewhere. <laughs> oh, oh. No. Can you touch it? I'm dripping everywhere. Oh, the sides of my eyes are like tingling. It's like it wants to sweat, but it's not. I'm crying. The heat's gone now, though. It's like on my tongue. But I don't feel better. You are cheating! Parents are watching you, upstairs. Yeah. It's on level with... No, actually, I don't know. I'm trying to compare it to the noodle challenge. Noodle challenge? <laughs> I feel like I was in more pain than... No. I feel weird. Like, oh, my face. Oh god. How are you guys feeling? Oh. She has milk. Yes, we're still watching. Stop judging us. Netflix. Save us, dead, dead. No, don't do it. Dead, dead. Save us. Save us, dead, dead. We're dying. He is gone. I think. There's just something weird going on with my face. Ugh. I feel like fainting. No? Like, it's just. Here, tingling here, here. Up here. How are you feeling? I only had a little bit. Oh. Oh. It hits the Now, when you breathe, it's stronger. Yeah, I know. It hurts to breathe. Uh. Oh yeah. Like every time, yeah. Every time you swallow. Every time you breathe. It's still there. <sighs> my oh, my face is red. Right here. It's <laughs> worse. I actually can't feel it. Like, like, feel in my chest too. I'm having a heart attack. <laughs> <laughs> you stroke. <laughs> no, I, I feel tingling. Like. We're, we're stroking very well. Stay with me. Be calm. Be calm. Just stroke the furry wall. With the furry wall. Why I breathe like this? Like, yeah. I keep mouth breathing. It's okay. It and don't hit like the wind. Hit your tongue. Feels better. <laughs> don't breathe. Maybe like, how long have I been? I don't know. <laughs> it says eight minutes on my camera. Same here. Ugh. I'm worried about how it's gonna feel like tomorrow. That was the hottest bird. <laughs> Rubbing your eyes. <laughs> this is a commercial. In the <laughs> <laughs> I was a lesson. Adrian, here. Tingling around my nose like something squeezing. <laughs> and it's just sharpness on my tongue. Oh, we got ice cream! Oh, fuck. I have so much water in my stomach. Right. I'm gonna eat ice cream. See how that helps. Oh, what the hell? I feel uh -oh. always really. Uh -oh. Where are you? Sweet relief. Oh, what is that? Is that cheese? I'll put you in my. Ew, it's durian! Ew! 
<laughs> Why do we still have this? Where do I put you? I don't need you right now. There. Oh crap, the whole freezer's gonna smell like good again. Okay, there, there. I need you. Sweet relief. It's gone now though. But I feel like this will seal the deal. And get rid of it for good. Where's the spoons at? Why are there only four? All right, you guys, so that's it for the Hot Ones challenge, I guess you could call it. Uh, honestly, I don't think it was a full challenge. Maybe next time I could try doing like using actual wings, definitely using more sauce, and finding a better combination of the sauces. But still, the last dab was. Oh my god, that was horrible. Yeah, the, lap, the last dab was something else, so. Now, compared to the spicy noodle challenge, I think it's almost in par with each other. I, but I, for some reason, I do remember feeling like the, the spicy noodle challenge, the times two one, was more painful. It had more of the stinging and the heat in the mouth. Well, the dab had the heat in the mouth as well, but the dab also had a whole bunch of other things going on. Like, my face was cringing and my, like, like there was needle sensations, tingling sensations in my head and everywhere else in my body. I think the heat was on par, but the experience wise, pain was more on the times two noodle challenge. And then uh, the last dab definitely has like an overall challenge for everyone. Half-Life was like almost the same. Like I felt I felt like dying just as long. I, I, I think it would be fair to say that they were both on par. So yeah, with that said, I'm definitely gonna do this again, maybe the right way. Hopefully I can find more sauces. Andrew apparently knows where to get Mega Death Sauce. So maybe we'll throw that into the mix as well. All the sauces were great. Thank you to the Enriquez, especially Paolo for bringing over uh, Aardvark their dicks, the hot ones, chipotle sauce, and the last dab, of course. Finally fulfilling my dream of, of actually going through the hot ones experience. Can't wait to try it again. With that said, hello guys. So this is actually future, future LB. The clip you saw in the beginning was future LB. I'm recording this video a few days, actually a week after that video. Hold on, let me set that on the camera. All right, hopefully I'm not like angled in a weird way, but anyways, I needed to add, to be fair to the review of the last dab versus the times two noodles, after I was done with the pain, like the heat and all that stuff, the next day, fire poops, I was done, that was it. The morning after the last dab, we actually brought CJ to the airport and that whole trip to the airport, the whole two hours, my stomach was aching, I was in total pain. I, I dropped a deuce before going to the airport and the whole trip, I was trying not to drop a deuce. Yeah, I was always in this position of comfort where I'd be bent over so that my, there's no pressure on my stomach. The whole day I had stomach cramps, my butt was aching, my stomach was aching when I pooped, it felt like freaking lava. It was such a weird feeling, but the pain, like the overall experience, Definitely goes to the last dab, hands down, hottest sauce in the world. I needed to be fair, I wanted to be fair. So, now, I know it's been a long video, and if you reach this point, thank you guys for watching it. And, uh, go ahead and check out my other stuff on my channel. This is the first challenge vlog that I did, and I actually have more that I'm going to make, and, or more lined up, like I- I'm recording. Okay, I actually have a Chicken Joy video, a Jollibee video, and in my beach. I have other challenge videos that I've already recorded and still want to do but while waiting you guys can check out my other videos and yeah there will definitely be more to come so I hope you guys enjoyed that video thank you all for watching and I'll see you guys when I see ya bye guys <laughs>